looked at. Kimunya may be termed as the proverbial cat that has nine lives as he was saved the sack after parliament failed to adopt the public accounts committee report on the ongoing De La Rue contracts. In his defense, Kimunya cited personal differences as overshadowing the decision of the committee. The Auditor General for purposes of, uh, Mr. Speaker, for purposes of uh, uh, knowing what these limitations are, does recognize that he did not review the cabinet papers on the joint review, on the on, on joint venture. And that is the crux of the genesis of the joint venture. Now, if the Auditor General did not review the cabinet papers that uh, gave birth to the joint venture, then he missed out very crucial evidence in terms of the rationale and the government thinking behind the joint venture. The committee was satisfied with Honorable Muraria's action, which is a cancellation that was done earlier. Now, if one cancellation is good, the other one cannot be illegal. In other words, two finance ministers cannot take exactly the same action, and one becomes unlawful and the other one becomes lawful. While proposing that recommendations 3 and 4 of the report be deleted, nominated MP Rachel Shebesh argued that political undertones were clearly playing a key role in the committee requesting that Kimunya and Ndungu be declared unfit for public office. And if they want further investigation on that issue, it is to show fairness so that by the time you are asking for Mr. Kimunya never to hold public office and the governor of the central bank also the same, you are asking the Anti-Corruption Commission to come with a clear report and investigative uh, report, which this committee is unable to do. We need to, to separate the, the personal grievances we might be having with Honorable Kimunya with the issue at hand. There were, however, those who wanted the report adopted, citing that the country had lost a lot of money under Kimunya's watch. I am convinced that this report was arrived at after a thorough investigation. The relevant witnesses were invited to present their views. The minutes are there. The report is there verbatim how they presented. And I am convinced that the committee did a thorough job that we can form an opinion around. As I beg you to vote to pass this, please let it be on record that the issue of saving 260 jobs should not be the little bush that the former Minister for Finance, Kimunya, should hide in because he had an opportunity to save 1,700 jobs for telecom Kenya workers, which he did not. But eventually, after the heated debate on the matter, the report never saw the light of day. Will as many as of this opinion say aye? Aye. And will as many of the contrary opinion say nay? Nay. And the nays have it. The committee will now have the task of conducting further investigations on the issue before the report can be brought back to Parliament for adoption. Nancy Njoki, GBS News.